Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is November the 4th, 2020, and we're going to do a quick walkthrough here, do the greenhouses. Now, I'm in the new greenhouse here, and I do have some maintenance to do on some of the plants. Um, when I had to let my knee rest for 10 days, a few things got away from me, so... Um, I need to uh, get in here and get some stuff cleaned up, but um, the we are going to see about getting the electric in here so um, we can get the lights hung up. Now, um, we did have a little bit of snow and uh, we had some winter storms come through, so um, the plants are still blooming. Um, they are kind of slowing down a little bit from not having all the hours of sunlight that they would normally have like in the spring. And summer so um, when we get the lights put up that should uh, help change that a lot and uh, like I said I do have a lot of uh, cleaning up to do so um, I'm allowed to use my knee in moderation so I'm gonna be working on getting stuff cleaned up but uh, my straw flowers here they're doing really well and I do have one that's actually starting to bloom over here. This one here is a Tom Thumb and it's starting to bloom. It is starting to open. So they are getting enough light and um, the plastic is reflecting the light around and in but um, they just need a little bit more because they're not getting all the normal hours of daylight that they would normally be getting during the spring and summer. So, um, the cucumbers, they are still producing cucumbers, and uh, I didn't get to get out and do any feeding or anything like that, because I, I couldn't. So, um, I need to get back out here with the food and, uh, get stuff cleaned up and harvested. I have some more straw flowers up here, and, uh, some status, and I have some straw flowers in the back back there waiting to be transplanted. So I do have some uh, celosia blooms here to harvest off and uh, my paper daisies here are starting to open now if these don't get enough light they won't open so um, what I'm noticing is that sometimes even on cloudy days they're still opening because this uh, plastic being that it's white is um, the kind of plastic it is it's reflecting the light inside so um, they are still opening even on the uh, cloudy days. And I have my little pansies back here. You can see the yellow and uh, brown one opened here. And then uh, the frizzle sizzle one. That one started opening back here. Now um, there are some more blooms coming on these, so I'm curious to see what other colors I'm going to get. Um, they're not quite doubles or frilly like I was thinking they were going to be, but um, we'll see what they do. But they are small blooms. You can see some more celosia here. There's another pansy. Some marigolds here. My uh, Lilas is pronounced Kazanza flower is going to bloom here. I'll do a video on that when it does. I had one bloom earlier and I was kind of watching it to see how long it will last, but I never got to do a video on it. Sorry about that. So when this one here blooms, I'll uh, do a video on it. So I have some more celosia here. And here's some marigolds here. And more celosia. I got a lot of stuff I got to clean up. See my plants over here. Now I actually like this spot on the floor where I can put my larger plants because they can just grow then and I don't have to worry about them um, getting too tall on the, the shelves because some of these you can see they're getting pretty tall there and I got to kind of bend them over to uh, get my blooms and stuff. So I'm um, I have to watch I don't break the stems because if I break the stems I defeat my uh, purpose. 
and you can see here um, despite the way those cucumbers look they are still giving I mean they have cucumbers on them all over the place so um, I have to get those off now there are still cucumbers in the old greenhouse and uh, I'll show those to you when um, I show you the old greenhouse and uh, here's another temporary one that was built to uh, try and save some of the straw flowers. You can see here, um, we're trying to cover this bin here. And uh, this had snow. This is a straw flower bin. It had snow and rain and sleet on it. Um, it was down in the 20s. It damaged a lot of them, but um, some of them did actually make it through. Now back there in the tunnel, um, they look really good in there. Uh, I can't get it, I can't open it right now, but um, they look really good in, uh, in the tunnel there. So we were able to um, save a lot of them. Now these here were covered with, uh, we just tried to throw some frost covers over them just to see if we could save anything with them. So uh, this is the old greenhouse here. I have a pansy here. And uh, my Crepespedia, some uh, eucalyptus tree there, that's a silver drop eucalyptus. I keep waiting to see if they're going to get the silver dollar in, but haven't seen that yet. And I have some uh, Tom Thumb straw flowers in here. I'm letting some go to seed so I can get my seeds off of them. Um, another eucalyptus plant, uh, more Crepespedia. And uh, I have a lot of stuff to clean up in this greenhouse, too, because um, when I had to rest my knee, I just couldn't get it done. Here's another uh, eucalyptus tree here. I have a zonal geranium blooming here. You can see the strawberries here. Now, this one here did start blooming. This is one that uh, I transplanted in the video, and it did start blooming. I have another one uh, back there. That's blooming. I have some more uh, strawberry plants here. Now these really exploded and bloomed since uh, the Shangsite LED light, the grow light has been on um, at night. And uh, I have it come on for um, three hours at night and then I have it come on for uh, two hours in the morning. And uh, it's giving me the extra light I need. I've been harvesting strawberries off and I have more here that are uh, getting ripe. I harvested four of the Alpine Alexandria strawberries off yesterday and uh, there's there's more blooms coming on them. And uh, here's a little dish of parsley back here. I've had that in here since uh, last year and uh, we harvest our parsley off of it. And I have some ripe tomatoes back there ready to pick. Now um, these tomato plants that I have have been in the greenhouse since um, last year and they're still giving for me. So I just wanted to give you this quick little tour of uh, the greenhouses and what's still growing and blooming in them and uh, what's going on with them and um, I do have to get to uh, getting the stuff cleaned up and um, the vegetables harvested. And uh, the cucumbers are still going and they are still giving. And that's a pretty big cucumber there. Now even when they get big like that, um, I've never had one get bitter. This is a tender green burpless cucumber. And uh, it's a really sweet variety. Um, I've never had any issues with it getting bitter. And uh, the seeds do get big, so you just kind of take the seeds out. So uh, as these continue to go over the winter time, I'll come back with more videos. And uh, I'll show um, what's blooming, what's giving. And I do have my fuchsias in here, my tropical hibiscus bush. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. That ties up putting new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank yous for watching, and always have a nice day. Bye!